Hello everybody, welcome to day 28. We're going to hit three things you got to put in your logbook and just want to show you that this is out of the PTS and during the beginning of your check ride under area of operation, pre-flight preparation, one of the first things that's going to come up is these three things which are under certificates and documents, your pilot privileges and limitations, your medical and pilot logbook and or flight records. And the one I wanted to hit today was what do you have to log in your pilot logbook? I was doing ground with one of my students this morning and he says, do I have to log every single hour? And I said, you know, that's a great question because that comes up in check rides all the time. And this is one that's easy to pass over is what do you have to log in your log logbook? Three of them that come to mind immediately are you have to have your currency for passengers that flight that you did within the preceding 90 days to make sure you're legal to take up passengers that has to be logged in your logbook whether it's day or night or both vice versa you have to have your flight review in your logbook and then you also have to have any of your requirements that you need for whatever specific rating that you're going for so there are those are three times that you have to go for the or those are three times that you have to log things in your pilot logbook if you're not going for a specific rating and you're not doing anything special, there are times where you wouldn't have to log it. But if you are going to be a career pilot, then of course you want to log every single hour of flight time that you can. So, that you legally can. So, with that being said, thanks for stopping by. Please click the log book. Please click the log book. And please click the like button and we'll see you at day 29. Thanks.